What causes some people to stutter? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc., thus allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm. Huh? Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. What causes altitude sickness? No idea, but Amsum is not afraid of heights. Huh? Oh, Amsum! We can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. Where does gold come from? Simple, from Amsum's locker. Oh, Amsum! Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs, as in when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, Heavy elements, such as gold, are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle, as well as crust. Hmm. Do animals really dream? Humans dream during their rapid eye movement stage of sleep or REM sleep. In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. Moreover, a singing bird's brain activity while singing and while in its REM sleep also showed similarity, thus indicating that perhaps animals dream of their daily activities. Hmm. How exactly do we cough? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. Why do we love junk food? No junk food. Only healthy food for Om Sum. Oh, Om Sum. We love junk food because manufacturers design it to activate our brain's reward system. They create the perfect combination of salt, sugar, spices, etc. <laughs> this excites our taste buds thus activating our brain's reward system, making us feel good. Also, junk food doesn't have enough water and fiber. It doesn't fill us. So, we keep on eating, and thus we end up consuming more calories leading to obesity, diabetes, huh? etc. Hmm. How huh? tall can we grow? Simple, as tall as a giraffe. Huh? Oh, um, some. <laughs> 
The genes which we inherit from our parents will make us grow approximately as tall as our parents. Hmm. Also, factors like nutrition, physical health, hormones, etc. also affect our height. Now, if we grow taller than what we are at present, then we would require much larger bones. Also, the amount of blood in our body would be more, thus making it hard for the heart to pump so much blood. Hmm. Why are sharks boneless? No big deal. Even Amsum doesn't have bones. Oh, Amsum. The skeleton of sharks is actually made of cartilage. Cartilage is the same stuff that our ears and nose are made up of. Now, cartilage is less dense than bones. Hence, it is much lighter, making sharks weigh less and thus helping them stay afloat. Hmm. Also, as the cartilage is flexible, it gives shark the ability to swim quickly and catch its prey. Hmm. Finally, the skeleton made of cartilage heals faster than that made of bones. Hence, sharks are boneless. Hmm. Why is birds poop white in color? Simple. Because they keep on eating the clouds. Huh? Oh, um, some. Firstly, it is not the poop that is white. The green or brown part present in the center of the white portion is the actual poop of birds. The kidneys of birds don't produce huh? urine. Instead, <laughs> they excrete the nitrogenous waste as uric acid. This acid is the white portion. Now birds have only one exit point called cloaca. The poop from intestines, that is the green part, and the uric acid from kidneys are excreted at the same time. Hence, bird poop appears white. Mm. Do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix? Absolutely not! I have told them not to. Oh, um, some. The answer is density. Density uh -huh. is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Uh. Lesser the density, lighter <laughs> will be the object. Hmm. The Atlantic Ocean contains much more salt, as a result of which it is much denser. On the other hand, the water in the Pacific Ocean is less salty, hence its density is much lower. Now, this difference in density due to salinity creates a kind of barrier called a halocline between the two oceans. As a result, both the oceans don't mix that easily. Hmm. Why were zebras never domesticated? No problem. I'm some we'll take care of this. Huh? Oh, I'm um, some. Firstly, zebras are known to have one of the strongest kicks in the animal kingdom. Secondly, zebras are known to have an extremely powerful bite. Thirdly, as compared to horses, it is extremely difficult to capture a zebra using a lasso, as zebras have a very efficient built-in ducking reflex. Hmm. Lastly, horses have a strong family structure. If the head of the family is captured, huh? then the rest of the family follows him. The same is not the case with a zebra. Huh? Hmm.